in the throat. Welcome to the channel, my friends. Today, we've got what I eat in a day. actually never made this before it's like a ricotta toast with some honey and banana i'm gonna put maple syrup because you know maple syrup is just the best that is some dense bread right there that's a brick that's a brick i could throw that and probably take someone out easily or build a house maybe well nothing's gonna happen without some maple syrup is it so we're gonna need some nuts I actually think I remember trying this bread and not really liking it, but yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All I'm saying is, these toppings better come through. That is looking dry. Yeah, dry is a good word to describe that bread. Just tastes too health, you know? It looks like a leather sandal. A real work of art. Do the same thing to the blueberries. Challenge accepted. That is the finest knife skills you've seen since Gordon Ramsay. I chopped the f***ing blueberry. Oh, piss off. Oh, fruit fan it. You want a fruit fan? Yeah, fruit fan uh, in it. In what direction? Um, the hardest direction possible. <laughs> oh, it oh, came on. No. I set you an impossible task to right. make you more humble. How much ricotta? I don't know. You didn't even attempt to go for the I, bread. I did a quick sub at the last minute. This plant is like falling <laughs> completely. What? It's because we dropped it. I feel like if I do this, it will fix it. Oh my God, a miracle. It all depends what angle you see it at. <laughs> yeah, you dropped that one as well. But if I turn it. <laughs> Fixed. Yeah, and then turn around. Oh my god. Toppings, 10 out of 10. Bread, 6 out of 10. So it's alright, evens out, 8 out of 10. I'm actually joking, it's not that bad. It, yeah, it does go, the texture works really well with it. Because I think if I had normal bread, it would just go kind of a bit soggy, so. You know, it sucks to be you. So that was breakfast. It was actually really good. I know I was joking about the bread. It was actually really good. Um, solid nine out of 10 breakfast, that. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Not good enough. Start again. This is where we're training. I'm gonna get him back for that. Resistance band makes it so much harder. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm running in slow motion. You know, it's such a horrible feeling. Nice. Right now, me and Mario are gonna race. I think Again. I think I like narrowly won, but Mario fell. <laughs> I'd say that's a draw. The funny thing is like, I feel like I get questions being like, does Mario feel intimidated by you doing so much sport? Uh, who's stronger in an arm wrestle? Who can squat more? Like, Mario's actually really athletic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you've given off the impression that you're not. I'm just lazy. Arm wrestle, sporting, even sprinting. He's faster than me and he's stronger than me. So 
yeah i'm not like i don't beat mario the thing where i do beat mario is like longer distance stuff and skill stuff like hurdles and he also can't take losing <laughs> Like there he was trying, <laughs> he just had me. We're done, that was it. Short 20 minutes, I didn't want to make it more than that because then we got some rollerblading to do and I want to go in fresh, you know? I feel like my upper lip is on fire because I waxed it again. Every time I film a video, it reminds me to wax my upper lip. <laughs> like it does burn me right now. Yeah, there's a little red, little redness going on. <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely feel it like burning up. <laughs> Now that is ASMR. <laughs> oh, this again. Oh. If that doesn't give you tingles, then it makes you need to go to the toilet. In addition to giving you the best ASMR tingles, we're also making lunch. And we're having this like miso brown rice with chili prawns. And I'm really excited about it. <laughs> to be honest, I don't feel like there's enough garlic ASMR. So now we're going to mix together the main flavours. So we've got rice vinegar, soy sauce and miso miso. Basically, I'm doing this what I eat in a day and I know just from how I feel that I'm going to come onto my period. Not even in the sense of like how my body looks, it's also like what my body is asking me for. So you guys know that I eat intuitively. For me, it's just eating, but I listen to my internal hunger cues. And before my period, I always crave more like fats, more carbs, like the Nutella goes whenever I'm just coming onto my period. And I want to say that because I feel like a lot of people feel like they also feel that way, but don't understand that there's genuine science to back that up. So before our period starts, studies have shown that our energy expenditure can go up. So um, yeah, I think it's just important to be aware of that because sometimes you'll have those cravings and you'll deny yourself of what your body's actually asking you for um, when there's actually like good scientific reason for why your body is asking to have more fats and more carbohydrates. So don't feel guilty if you want to have more chocolate before your period comes. Actually, it was Rini McGregor, the sports performance dietetics expert who I work with to build my training programs that made me aware of that and she's just She's just insane. She's so knowledgeable in dietetics, not just for like sports performance. I mean, she works with like elite athletes. She also works with normal people like me and you. Um, but yeah, she's just incredible. And like, it's no surprise that BBC always asking to work with her and that Google asks to work with her. I just feel like there aren't enough good words to describe how good she is, you know? Oh my God, Mario is having a singing shower episode. <laughs> Working it. Do you feel fresh? This fresh. Very fresh. That smells really good. Are you ready to drop some phones? This video is sponsored by Case Defy, which is really cool because I've been using their phone cases for so long. It's possibly when I take a selfie, the number one question I get asked. It's like, yeah, I don't care about you or anything you have to say. Where's the phone case from? You know? <laughs> to be fair, like, if someone else had this phone case. So happy you had a baby, where's the phone case from? This is like my main phone case that I've had for a long time. And then this is like my side, my one on the side, you know? They have really cool designs, like they'll do collabs with artists or music artists or brands as well. Yeah, so their phone cases are like really original and then you can also customize them. As part of this collab, they also sent me a few other cases. They sent me this one, 
and then I personalized it at the bottom as well. This one's like an ultra impact case because it's got even more protection. This one's for dropping it off buildings. I drop mine daily. Daily. Minutely. <laughs> Natasha's hands are really small and okay. sweaty. What the hell? They're small and sweaty, which is a really bad combination. So I've basically been drop testing this for months. But yeah, we're gonna do drop test now. Ready. <laughs> Ooh, that sound is not good. It didn't break. I'll take it out of the case. Completely fine. So if you like your phone and you don't want it to break, which is, you know, it's nice, then you can head over to casetofy.com forward slash Natasha and you'll get 20% off. So we can match. I'll put the link in the description box and you can just get to drop in your phone, you know, no big deal. Okay, so it's snack time. And one of our favorite snacks is bruschetta, which again, Inspiration from one of our favorite restaurants. <laughs> What's the name? Barafina, Barafina. And they're like a fish restaurant. The quality is just insane. If you ever come to London, go to Barafina, you won't be disappointed. Yes, there is always a really long queue, but still. It's 100% worth the 100% queue. 100% worth it. You know yeah. when you look at a queue and you're like, oh, can't be worth it. It's worth it. Also, they feed you while you queue. It's true, they feed you while you queue. And one of the things they feed you while you queue is bruschetta. And it's incredible. So we found this tomato in a market, which I just think is so cool. Bruschetta is probably the easiest meal to do because it's literally just bread. You blend up some tomatoes, olive oil and salt. And wow. garlic, you can do garlic. You wanna keep the cloves quite whole because you're gonna rub it and grate it on the bread. You literally cannot go wrong with bruschetta. No. And you just can't. If you do, something seriously went wrong because you can't go wrong with it. <laughs> what are you getting ready for? I am getting ready for the social event of the year. <laughs> we are heading off to Mr. Pretzels. We've just done like a couple of hours of work and then my motivation is Mr. Pretzel. Are I've you... got my loyalty card. I'm so ready to go. Oh, you did that in one day. <laughs> This is how you got a dress for Mr. Pretzel. You got a dress to impress. Oh my gosh. I'm taking it serious, babes. You did not just put on the watch. The Mr. Pretzel's lookbook, summer 2020. Give me all your pretzels. <laughs> you look like you work here. We're gonna share these because it's quite a big portion. Because what me and Mario usually do, we just get one bag and then we share it with one fork. That's how they taste. What you're seeing is exactly how they taste. <laughs> Go. So I'm just waiting for Mario, he's just sending a couple of emails and we'll go out rollerblading. As in, I'll go out rollerblading, Mario will just, he's just gonna join on for the fun. Like I was saying before, like for me, just staying active is just good for my mental health. I easily get cabin fever. 
So if I'm stuck indoors so long, like I just, I just get itchy. It's so easy for me to stay here and just to work and then just be sat down all day and then not go out. It's, that's so easy for me to do, but I know that it really affects my mental health. I definitely feel like rollerblading is one of those activities that feels like a toy, you know? It's like you do it, it feels really fun, and then you realise that you've actually done exercise alongside. Once it's enjoyable, then you don't need, like, your threshold for motivation becomes much lower. Even at the end of a long day, and I feel really tired, at least if I'm doing something fun, like, I don't have to over-motivate myself, you know? It's like, it's easier, it's easier to motivate myself. Usually, if I'm rollerblading indoors, I'll literally move everything. Like, I'll move the table back, and then I'll also pull um, this rug back. The whole room changes, and I just, you know, I just make it my own, you know? I like using this space to learn because um, there's no one around, and I know that if I fall, I'm not going to make a complete fall out with myself, because I do still kind of get that embarrassment factor, even though there's a lot of stuff I don't really get embarrassed about. It's fine when you have someone else, because you can kind of like laugh with them, but then when you stack it on your own, it's just feels different, you know? Like, I've laughed it off, but you know, you kind of like walk your head down in shame, and you're like, hey, I need to get away from this place. <laughs> Mario's joining us today. Did you not want to get some rollerblades, Baba? I will in time. <laughs> he's the cutest. Whenever we go ice skating, he's so cute. <laughs> I mean, he nearly takes me out. <laughs> Definitely, like, takes me out. And I am so lucky that I come back alive, but he's really cute. They're gonna start a YouTube channel, yeah, guys. Yeah. Watch out. So watch out for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they're still brainstorming ideas. Yeah. We just had like a bit of a brainstorming session with Mario and Natasha, and it's been like good. Yeah, ideas are flowing, and yeah, okay. we helpful. appreciate it. And they're so like camera ready as well. You guys are like natural. <laughs> Perfect. You guys are so natural in front of the camera. Whenever, like, when we first got together with Mario, Mario was like extremely shy. <laughs> He like didn't know what to say. It yeah. was just like, uh, watch out for them. Yes. Because yes. they'll be they'll be coming your way soon. Yes. <laughs> they were really cool. I've got to say, you guys, you're really cool. As like a your community. Followers are consistently quite my cool, followers yeah. are consistently just really cool. <laughs> Shout out to Mad and Pat. Thank you for saying hi. I mean, I love roller skating, but my feet are killing me. <sighs> so I just changed clothes and I just washed my face because I felt so like disgusting and sweaty. And also because we were rollerblading and when you get that sweaty and all of the insects are flying out, they start to stick to you. It's kind of gross, but yeah, I just freshened up. Now I'm going to make some dinner. And there's another amazing sunset. I just can't get enough of them. So this dinner recipe that I'm making right now is basically like, I just saw this photo on the internet, just a lone photo, you know, no recipe attached to it. It's just, it's on its own out there. And it just looked really appetizing to me. So I think I'm gonna recreate it. It didn't look too hard. Cooking when you're hungry is so difficult. I just wanna eat. In the photo, I can't tell what kind of flavoring they've got or dressing from what I see. What I'm gonna do instead is just a classic vinaigrette because that's just like, 
it's classic, it goes with everything and this is the recipe that my mum gave me so um, it's super easy, you really can't go wrong. All you need is olive oil, mustard and some form of vinegar, balsamic vinegar. It was just one of those things like when we do the salad, my mum would always make me do the vinaigrette, same when I went to my grandma's house. So you want honey and mustard, you don't want a normal vinaigrette? I like the honey mustard one. Okay, fine, I'll do, make... No, do what you want. I'll do a honey mustard. I just like honey mustard. That is fine. I'll make myself a honey mustard. <laughs> wow. No, it's fine. That's just... I'll that a is a mustard. chef's best compliment. It's when someone else offers to make their own food. <laughs> As per Mario's request, I am going to add honey. Are you? Well, you I want to. you to like the food that I cook for you. You don't have to. Oh, that's actually well nice. Say that again. Oh, uh, no. Say that again. No. I don't think that's enough dressing. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I think I put in too much onion. Like, <laughs> my mouth just feels so oniony right now. That tasted so good, but I am still gonna have something sweet, you know, just to cleanse the palate. And I actually went into our cupboard and I found the Purignan box, which I actually didn't know that I had. They've been neglected. So I'm probably just gonna have one because I, I don't really fancy that much. I just want a little bit, you know, just something, something. Just to cleanse the palate. And then after that, it's the end of the video. So please give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button with the little notification bell as well. And I'll see you very soon. Love ya. Bye. Mm, so good. Oh, are you having one too, yeah? So, so all those times you said you never had one. My first one. <laughs> oh yeah. My I, first one. Yeah, I believe you. Also, you weren't supposed to show my haircut on camera. <laughs> oh, were you trying to hide it all day? All day. I still think you're cute though, Baba.